Hi everybody, Spencer Adkins. It's time now for the Weather Blender blog for the 4th of February. It's Thursday. We're already getting into the next storm mode here. Very quiet day for our Thursday, but we want to show you our surface map right off the bat. High pressure just to the north of the viewing area. Big low pressure down along Texas. And this is the best fit path, we think. If you look at all these little circles and squares and triangles, this is where the weather model puts the low every 12 hours. All the different models. And then you kind of draw the best statistical average and that's the path of the low. It'll go out to the uh, South Carolina, eastern sections of South Carolina, out along Cape Hatteras and then scoot away over the course of the weekend. I want to show you something different. Instead of showing you this model versus that model, we can put a whole bunch of models together in what we call an ensemble. It's kind of like putting a ton of models into a blender, right? The weather blender. There you go. Now let's look in the upper left hand box. This is 7 a.m. on Friday and that's the probability of snow. It's not how much snow. And we're never going to show you how much snow on these models. This is just the chance. And you can see it's about a 70% to 85% chance of snow over the mountain terrain of West Virginia. Very low chance around Charleston, Huntington. And in fact, in, even in southern Ohio, it's only about a 25% chance. We move to the right-hand box. That's a chance of rain. Boy, you're getting up there to a 95% chance of rain in southeast Kentucky. Sliding down, freezing rain is very likely in a little thin stripe right along the interstate, I-77, the West Virginia Turnpike down through Virginia. So let's step ahead to 7 p.m. Same type of a look. Four panels, upper left panel, chance of snow, mainly from, let's say, uh, the US 50, US Route 50 and north, really good chance of snow again around Wheeling and out towards Columbus. We move down again and actually over to the right, we'll look at the chance of rain. There's still a good 70, 75% chance of rain in that little wedge right up around Charleston through about Sutton. And then we slide down again to the uh, lower right-hand box. Freezing rain chance, very, very high. As we, Once again, so this would be a good 12 hours of chance of freezing rain up above 60 70% for the area around Bluefield. Okay, we jump ahead to Saturday morning now as the cold air has crashed in. And you can see there's a much greater chance, 95% chance of snow from Parkersburg on over through Clarksburg, Morgantown, and then looping back down around to Lewisburg, still a good uh, 70s, 80% chance of snow around Charleston, Huntington, but a much lower chance in eastern Kentucky. Probability of rain, that's all shifted off to the east, and uh, no chances of ice pellets or freezing rain. So now we're just dealing with snow, and then we jump ahead another 12 hours, and you can see that the bulk of the snow, this is 7 p.m. on Saturday night, the bulk of the snow has moved offshore, uh, even off, uh, let's say, uh, Cape Hatteras to uh, Cape Cod. And then we just see a, about a 30, 40%, 50% chance of snow through I-79. The probability of rain is gone. So how much snow are we looking at? Here we go. This is looking at the NAM model, and we're forecasting out to 60 hours. This is by 7 p.m. on Sunday. And you can see the heaviest snow again. Wow, just a, a whopping amount of snow, 18, 20 inches of snow in that eastern panhandle running uh, maybe out over toward Harper's Ferry, just south of D.C. and out through the Delmarva. A nice stripe of 8 to 10, the big blue stripe, that will run again from Wheeling just down over toward Clarksburg and then back just south of Columbus. And you can see it really steps down as you get toward Charleston, Huntington, about 4 inches of snow, and most of that would fall actually on Saturday, as we just showed you. Once again, this is another look. This is the GFS 6Z run of the model, and you can see about 3, 4 inches of snow around Charleston. But, man, does it step up. There's your big 18-inch bullseye at 20 inches. That does include the Washington, D.C. area. But, again, back around Columbus, it's uh, something like 6 to 8, and in between there and Wheeling, it does step up pretty dramatically. The GFS does have 12 inches plus around Wheeling, so we'll have to wait and see. Again, it's all about the timing and uh, how far the warm air punches into this. Real quickly, probabilities. Uh, once again, another way of looking at things, chances of snow above 4 inches accumulation. The red, that's just about, uh, well, everybody north of Interstate 64, the red line, 70% chance of seeing 4 inches of snow or more. And then we go up to a little higher amount, 8 inches of snow. Well, it's kind of shifted to the eastern panhandle, but there's still even a 10% chance of snow uh, of 8 inches or more all the way down to the Kentucky line. And then you can see now we go up to 12 inches. There's a 70% chance or more, again, mainly in the eastern panhandle and in north central Virginia. Chances of freezing rain over a quarter of an inch, yeah, that's pretty good. That's a 70% chance from Bluefield to the south. Still a 40% chance encompassing uh, the Beckley, Bluefield, Lewisburg area. So that's a quick peek at uh, the weather models. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing using probabilities today as opposed to the model. So a lot of us will see rain not changing to snow in Charleston, Huntington until Saturday morning before dawn. And the rest of us will see that freezing rain mix in, uh, let's say, WBNS country. So stay tuned with us here, whether you're on WOWK or WBNS. We'll keep you updated as we move throughout this storm.